can you talk about one of the defining moments in your PhD life? So, uh, usually what happens is that in my case, for example, the research problem that I was working on was given to me by my advisor. So, I never owned the research problem that I was given in the initial days of my PhD. But there came a point where I attended one of, uh, I attended a workshop. I remember this was at ISI Kolkata. Somebody came and asked me, what you are, what are you working on and how can you tell this to me in a way that your advisor has not told me? Apparently, my advisor had already spoken to that person before about my research problem. And this person who was talking to me expected me to tell him something new that my advisor has not told him. So this was a defining moment because it actually meant that I should take ownership of this problem. It's not my advisor's problem anymore. It is my research problem. And just taking ownership of the problem meant that I could, uh, you know, open up so many possibilities for myself. I could think of the same problem in so many creative ways, all of which would be appreciated by people. So I, I, I started taking ownership of the problem that I was working on and uh, I took full interest in the problem. So that actually changed the game for me. Subsequently, I traveled to many international conferences and I presented my works there and people were so happy listening to me and they told me that I have done very good work, my ideas are great. So when people appreciate your work more, there is more ownership that you take about the problem and there are more ways you think about extending the problem to many more future directions. So I think taking ownership of the problem from what I thought of as my advisor's problem to what I then thought of as this is my research problem. I need to be serious about this. I need to think about this carefully. I think that was a defining moment. Okay, it's very nice to hear about that. And how do you think that actually shaped your career as a researcher? So as I said, uh, it was at that time that I could come up with new ideas to solve the problem. When I, when I got stuck at some point, Earlier, when I thought of it as my advisor's problem, I would simply wait for inputs from my advisor. I would not make progress on my own feet. But when I took ownership of the problem, when I felt that this problem is mine, I need to solve this problem in a different way, in, in ways that nobody else has solved it before. That's when I used to go and talk to people about uh, the things that I am stuck on and the things that I need to read up further in order to further my own understanding of the problem. So that's when my interactions with people got better and I could travel to conferences. Thankfully, IAC funds such travels. So I could travel to conferences, present my works, take the inputs of experts in this field, listen to what these experts have to say about my problem. So I took complete interest in the problem and that changed the whole path for me. Uh, now, now, if you ask me about my problem, if you ask me what what are the ways in which this problem is applicable, what are what are the utilities of this problem, I think I'm in a much 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 better position to answer these questions with confidence. I think that is what is important. One needs to be able to answer these questions with confidence. So I think it has truly built that confidence in me that I can actually take up anything that is difficult and with perseverance come up with a solution for it.